will be the second from home. Champagne fever still clings the rail and clings to a tenuous lead to the outside. It's Trifolium, but it's Champagne fever who begins to kick off the turn. He's got a length clear once again. Trifolium now he's been driven. Dodging bullets tries to get through. Here's the final fence now. Champagne fever in second place. Trifolium and Western Wars. A remarkable run, having hit a flat spot at the top of the hill. to win it at double digits. It was Western Wars and Tom Skidmore who must have got there on the line from Champagne Fever, but it will go to the judge. Tight. As they do so, over on the far side, Toby Tobias comes to challenge for the lead. Desert Orchid on the stand side. Norton's coin between horses. It's Desert Orchid on the near side. Toby Tobias on the far side. Desert lands a neck in front. Tennis space has fallen there. running on gallantly on her last appearance. Then came Yahoo and Bonanza Boy. And so the result of the 1990 Tote Cheltenham Gold Cup, a triumph for number seven, Norton's Coin. Here is the second last, Celestial Halo and Punjabi over in front from Binocular back in third. And they're kicked away from Muirhead, catching his boxing on, rounding the final turn. Celestial Halo and Punjabi, Binocular's just in behind them, and McCoy won't want to play his cards too soon as they run down towards the final flight in the champion hurdle. Celestial Halo and Punjabi. Celestial Halo got in a bit tight, Punjabi lands alongside. Binocular now push comes to Chuff. Track away, Jack is running on well from the rear. In fourth place up the hill, Punjabi strikes the front from Celestial Halo. Binocular just flattening out a little, then crack away. Jack still staying on. Punjabi all out from Celestial Halo. Close to the finish. Punjabi desperate. Punjabi wins. It's a champion hurdle. Tight second, Celestial Halo and Binocular. Punjabi has beaten his stable base.
Stella Indo and Rachel Blackmore still have the lead as they make the turn for home with one to take in the Albert Bartlett. It is Minella Indo who has travelled powerfully throughout. Salsa Retta is right over on the far side. Derin Ross has every chance. These are then being followed by Commander of Fleet who is staying on. So too is Ala O. And after Ala O is Lisnagar Oscar. They're racing down inside the final quarter mile. It's Minella Indo who still has the lead and has the rail to help. Staying on, Commander of Fleet has now got to within two lengths as they cross over the last. Minella Indo still has a lead of a length and a half. The Commander of Fleet is continuing to stay on. They've now gone clear of the third. Ala O, oh, they've got another 100 yards to go. It's Rachel Blackmore and Minella Indo. And Minella Indo has taken the Albert Bartlett. In second place was Commander of Fleet. Back in third was Ala O. Oh. John Promise in second, and they're about three lengths clear of Doran's Pride, who's trying to find acceleration as they make the final turn. After these comes Go Ballistic, Senior Albertruti, and Sunny Bay. They come down towards the second from home in the Tote Cheltenham Gold Cup. And Paul Doran has made all the running, still just has the edge by only half a length. The strong promise the inside. The Irish waiter, Doran's Pride, is in third. They come down towards the final fence. Can Doran call Doran make all at the last? Promise is a big challenger. Doran's pride raising his game now and coming with a strong run. They've got 150 yards to go. And it's Paul Doran and Strong Promise who's fueling it out. Doran's pride is in third. He's staying on. But the post comes in time for Paul Doran. Paul Doran wins. Strong Promise is second. Doran's pride third. Senior on the Trudy four. Sunny Bay five. Simply dashing six. Challenger to Duke seven. And then Barton Dank and Honourable eight. as they go down to the second last. Granite Jack, Orbiter Gold, taken on by Amaretta Rose between the pair as they race now to the final turn. And this mare is yet to come off the bridle. Ever Zion going well in behind them, though. The gray a bit short of run, then De Valera and Tyson. Special envoy from the back with kicks for free and wins now. Now he gets to work on Amaretta Rose. And Granite Jack is battling on very gamely, followed by Ever Zion between the pair. They land over the final flight. De Soto's back in fourth place, then wins now. Up the hill, Granite Jack and Ever Zion, a brace of greys beating off Amaretto Rose with De Soto in fourth place and it's Ever Zion that's kicking on the best up the hill. Ever Zion and Davy Condon, a winning start for Ireland. Ever Zion wins from Granite Jack second. Amaretto Rose flattened out up the hill, followed by De Soto and wins now. How many times making ground as well with Derby and then Mega Star, but it's Alparov who leads. Ducard is absolutely cantering behind the leader at the moment. Angled out's going to get a crack at him shortly. Frawley is towards the inside in third place, and then comes Derby and made in time. So uphill and Alparov, but this looks a, a one horse race. Ducard has come to the front and is about two or three lengths clear from Alparov in second. Then comes Frawley behind these is Derby, but up the hill, St. Patrick's Day. But for the first time in quite a while, this runaway winner of the bumper is not trained in Ireland. It's for the Tizards. Hugh Card is going to absolutely rout them. Hugh Card beat Alpha Rob into second place. But Frawley ran home third ahead of Tavern Time Megastar. Behind these was Bishop Spurs who got going late in company with Dare Me. And here's Glenn's Melody now in the yellow jacket. Bit of a puzzle with those, but it is now Annie Power who's coming through to take it up as they jump over the second last. She moved through to a length and a half lead to Glenn's Melody. Bit of a puzzle, the Pirates Queen behind those, then Polly Pictum and Carol Spirit. But as they turn into the home straight, the full timer is on. Annie Power and Ruby Wall showing in front. But Glenn's Melody, her stable mate, is the danger as they approach the last flight. Bit of a puzzle find him in third position. Andy Power at the last place down! Andy Power has gone but in front of the last Glenn Melody launches run up to Polly Beach a bit of a puzzle with a chance as well. Glenn Melody but now Polly Beach on the far side has come to join it. It's very tight between them. Polly Beach and Glenn Melody together. A bit of a puzzle between those and the Pirates Queen is home in fourth.